Hi everyone, this is Randy Pertler back again. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button and also the little bell icon. That way you'll get an alert every time I post a new video. So today's gonna be a little different. This is not a house that I flipped. Today, what we're gonna look at a coworker of mine who has this house listed. So we're in beautiful Flossmoor, Illinois. So join me and we'll take a look at the house. So here's a look at the front of the house that we're at here in Flossmoor. So we've got the two car garage. It's uh, got great curb appeal. This is an outstanding block here, and um, you can see by the mature trees. Um, big, huge house across the street. I would qualify that as a mansion or a mini mansion. Uh, very quiet street here. It's within walking distance of the train to downtown Chicago, and also with a short uh, walking distance to one of the parks here. So let's go ahead, and we're going to go on the inside of the house. As you walk to the house, you'll notice this stamped concrete, which is really nice, very classy. I've always liked stamped concrete. So that leads to the foyer here. And uh, by the way, I've got all, all landscaped already. So someone can just come in and trim the bushes and be ready to go. We've got this little foyer area here. And then we have the hardwood floors, which is beautiful. These are original hardwood floors. You've got the original fireplace, which is beautiful. Nice little crown molding up at the top and uh, nice windows leading to the backyard. I'll show you a picture of the backyard. It's outstanding. It's about the size of a football field. Here we've got a uh, bonus room off of the side here. Could be like a little den or office. Uh, sitting room, just beautiful with windows on three sides of it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the backyard out of here. So you can see here that the backyard is huge. Uh, very deep, very private. So as we come through this way, this is the walk around from that little den area. We'll walk and make a circle around here. So this is the half bath, which is on this floor. So we've got a half bath here. This has not been rehabbed, but it has uh, been touched up painted is what it looks like to me. And it's been kept in real good condition. Let's go ahead while we're here, we'll go down to the basement. Basement seems to be dry. There's not a sump pump, but that's probably because over the years there was never need to put one in. Looks very dry and there really doesn't look at like any signs that there's ever been moisture problems down here. This looks like paneling here that was painted. There's a little soffit, ductwork there. There's another fireplace, so that's the second fireplace there. Then you've got a little storage right across here. There's the furnace area. If someone wanted to, they could enclose that. If um, they don't like the open look area there, there's a washer and dryer hookup. It does have 200 amp service, so that's important. That's what you want to look for in these houses. Um, so this looks like an updated service box here with uh, get a little close up of that. You can see that it's uh, 200 amp service. So there's another little, uh, oh, that's a, a door that goes outside. So this goes kind of towards the back there in the back of the house. You'll see how that is a stairway. So you've got another exit entrance there from the basement. Uh, the furnace, I should kind of show that real quick on the side. So the furnace is not real new, but it actually looks very clean, very serviceable. Uh, nothing that would have to be replaced anytime soon. I would say the same thing for the hot water tank as well. Let's go on back upstairs and we'll continue our journey on the first floor. So again, where we left off here, across from the half bath. Now you walk into here and there's a kitchen. The typical kind of kitchen in these older homes, they weren't real big back in the day that they were built, uh, but nice, nice newer, might even be brand new refrigerator, nice size there. You've got the stove, which is an older model, looks like a newer microwave, but the stove may be a little bit older model. It's nice they got the built-in vent there into the top of the stove, so you can see that. That's a vent. you got the Lazy Susan in the corner. Then the sink, and again, let's look at this view of the backyard. And this is an area where you can build on and get your money back, uh, money worth out of it when it's time to sell. 
you've got a lot of room to build. And the neighbor over here across, I can tell they build on a nice huge garage. I think they also built some square footage onto their house as well. So we'll walk through here. This is the dining room area. Again, you've got the crown molding. You've got the little chair rail going around the side, nicely painted with the two tones of gray. Let's head on upstairs now. Oh, by the way, this is the closet right here in the front. There. And then we'll walk up the stairs. Now, what I've been told is that these uh, are hardwood floors up here. So underneath this carpet is hardwood floors. So the buyer, even though these car this carpet's in great shape, the buyer may take this carpet out immediately and have the exposure of the beautiful hardwood floors. You can see uh, there's the neighbors that I talked about. You see the extension that they made on their house and the garage. Beautiful four car garage there. Give you another perspective of the bike backyard. This is kind of the open hallway, which is nice. That was the first bedroom. This being the second bedroom. Nice character there. The ceiling, which is the slope of the roof. And here's your closet. Built-in shelving there. And then let's go back. So at the top of the stairs, when we came up, there was the full bath here. So again, this is all probably the original floor plan. So back in the day, these bathrooms weren't big. This is a very modest size full bath with a half bath in the basement or in the, on the first floor. This is really nice. A lot of times you do not get these big um, master bedrooms like this. This is a huge master bedroom. You could even put a bathroom, you could put a master bathroom in the corner over here and still have a really big master bedroom. Plus you have four closets. I don't know if I've ever seen a master bedroom with four closets. So again, you could take some of this closet space out. This closet right here could be a, effectively a, a bathroom. Certainly could be a half bath and probably could bounce that out a little bit and that could be a full bath right there in the corner and still have these two closets in the master there on that side, on that side. Okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough on this open house today. I'm gonna to be posting a lot of open houses, not only my own flips, but other people that I know, my colleagues. So take a look at this YouTube channel and take a look at all the open houses we'll do. We'll do some of them actually live. I'm doing one live in just a few days, so I'd love to have you on there. And just a reminder, if you would please subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the little bell icon so you get an alert every time that I post a new video. So until the next time we talk, may God bless you and your family. Bye-bye.